Hi guys, I'm going to, for the first time ever, try and do a video in under five minutes. Let's see if this is possible. This is a tag that the lovely Sparkalicious tagged me into, and it is the My Beauty Rules tag. I was going to bring down props, you know, like show you things, but then I thought, my rules aren't product specific based, they're just, so I didn't want to show you specific products because that's not about my rules. So anyway, there's, there's no particular questions, it's just what are your rules when it comes to beauty, so I've written down a few notes, right? So rule number one for me is moisturise. When I was about 14 or 15, I decided, right, I'm going to moisturise day and night for the rest of my life. And I literally have done that. I don't think, maybe in the last 10 years, I may have gone five times in 10 years where I've not probably moisturised at least once in the day. Um, that's very rare that I won't do it twice. Um, it's because I've got dry skin and... I remember at that age I was aware that those with dry skin are going to age prematurely so I just thought right moisturise day and night and I always have moisturised day and night so that's the definite one and along with that is oils, um, that is my beauty rule, I use oils whenever, as much as I can so I'll use them at least five times a week so if you've got oilier skin maybe you'll use them less often but that is what I use to sort of give my face an intense moisturisation. Um, the next rule is sun factor. This is a definite rule. It was about three years ago, halfway through the year, I set a rule for myself. It was like a New Year's resolution, but mid-year. But it was a definite, I remember the moment, I was like, right, I'm never le you know, leaving the house without Sun Factor again. And I was on the hunt, because I was buying, I think it was because I was buying a moisturiser, and I just refused to buy any that didn't have Sun Factor in it. Um, because at the time I didn't wear foundation, so my moisturiser had to have it, and that was my rule. I would never leave the house without Sun Factor, and I don't. If I haven't got my moisturiser, I'll make sure it's got it in my foundation, but generally um, I will have Sun Factor. Minimum 15, but for the last month it's been 30, and I don't think I'll go less than 30 again. I think 30 is what my face will always have. And once again, it's for premature, age, age, premature ageing. I just think prevention is the cure, you, you know. Is if I can do whatever I can now while I'm young, then that's what I'm going to do. Alright, the next one is cleansing. I used to just use face wipes, and sometimes if I'm feeling lazy and I go for like three days of just using face wipes, my skin goes awful, so my rule is to cleanse. I haven't gone to bed with my makeup on for years and years. It's the one thing, no matter how drunk I am, I'll come in, even if I don't give my face a proper sort of cleanse and polish, as long as I get a wipe, and I sort of wipe all the foundation off and get all the concealer off under my eyes and like eyeshadow off, if I've got mascara left on, fair enough. It's very rare that happens, but I have to go to bed with a clean face and then moisturise. It is just, that is a definite rule for me. Okay, another rule specific for me, because I have very sensitive skin, is I don't use sodium lauryl sulfate, which is in 95% of all shower gels. Um, check out like, one of my skincare videos, I'll link it below. Um, of why I don't use it, it just irritates the hell out of my skin. So if I, I've gone around to my mum's and had a shower and I've got rashes, just, and it would be a lovely shower like Dove or something, it's just, it irritates my skin. So I have to, when it comes to washes, not creams, just washes, like face wash and shower gels, I have to have organic ones, just for my sanity, otherwise I just, oh, it's awful. Okay, another rule for me is concealer. I can leave the house with no makeup on, but I could leave the house with no concealer on, to be fair, but just so I don't scare small children, I need to put concealer on. That is a rule for me, because I just think it makes such a difference to my confidence and just how I look. So, a rule for me is don't leave the house without concealer. In particular, like I said, I'm not mentioning brands, because it's just a general rule, concealer. Um, the next one is shampoo. Like I mentioned, for me, it's organic because it irritates my scalp so much. But the rule specific to shampoo is to change it up. If you use the same shampoo for like two or three weeks, your hair, I don't know what it is, it goes greasy, sometimes it goes dry, it just goes... Ugh. I find if I change my shampoo and then go back to what I was using, it's all gorgeous again. And I'm looking online and doing research on that, your hair just becomes immune to it. Um, so it stops doing what it's supposed to do, so if you just switch up your shampoo, that is a rule for me as well. So always I like three on the go. Um, the last rule is only use heat on my hair when I really need to. I 95% of the time let my hair dry naturally. I tend to wash my hair at night, then when I go to bed it's damp and I purposely lay on the pillow so it's all down so it goes flat. Um, I only hair dry my hair if like someone says, right, let's go out tonight and I've got a hair dryer because generally I'll wash my hair the night before and then I'll curl it 
that night otherwise I've got to hair dry my hair and then curl it so that's like too much twice as much heat in one night so where I can avoid hair drying and curling I will but obviously for the night out and that I'll have to straighten it or curl it um, and then with that is always use heat protection that is a definite rule and it really bugs me when I go to a hairdresser's and they don't put heat protection you know when you've had a student and they don't put heat protection on your hair I'm just sat there going and I have to say to them, look, can you put heat protection on my hair, please? I kind of like my hair. Um, so that is a definite rule, is always use heat protection. So anything to save it. Um, ever since I stopped dyeing my hair, I've noticed I don't really get much split and so I'm trying to look after my hair, so that is a definite rule for me. So um, they are my beauty rules. I wanted to make it quick and not show you props and stuff. I can see we've just got over five minutes, but um, yeah, that is... Yeah, that's all of them. So the people I tag in this, let me think. Lauren Alice. Style So Coy, you need to do some more tags, and Kerry from Pretty Little Things. Um, I tag you specifically, but um, all do this tag because um, I like to know what your beauty rules are. So um, I will see you in my next video. Bye.